Good morning. How is everyone doing? It's Liz and we're flipping things and I took today off from work. So I'm just going to do a little vlog today of what I'm doing with the kids. They are home on winter break. My eBay stuff that's going on and yeah, we're just going to see what happens. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. It is Wednesday and I took today off. Oh my. Bruno walks in with the mischief, his grin, thunder, you join the story on my hands are there. If you have kids, if you know, you know <laughs> the Bruno song. So it is Wednesday morning. I am just packing up what sold yesterday or like after I dropped off yesterday, last night into this morning. Uh, yesterday, Tuesday, I dropped off seven DVDs. I shipped out seven DVDs, which was pretty awesome. That was for Sunday and Monday because it was President's Day. But then um, overnight, I got five more orders. So let me show you what sold. First is Singing in the Rain. I think this sold for $9.99. Um, it's got a little slip cover. It's nice. These are all just going to go right into my eBay branded bubble mailers. I love these things. They're so perfect. And every quarter I get a $25 off coupon towards these. So they wind up costing about 10 cents each. I'm going to, I'm not, I'm not going to make it a quarter. I'm going to need to order before the quarter's up, but that's okay. These are awesome. We don't talk about <sighs> Bruno. No, 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 no. We don't talk about Bruno. Are your kids singing but this song so much? Ready. Okay, let me go back to it. Okay. We were getting ready, but there wasn't a cloud in the sky. No clouds allowed in the sky. Okay, Bruno okay. Walks in with the mist. Good. So this is a, my second order is actually two DVDs and this is a sort of interesting story. So this was in one of my DVD lots. It is WWE Legends and unusually this one was not sealed. Now most, almost 99% of the DVDs that I win in these auctions are sealed but this one wasn't. But I opened it up. It's WWE Legends. I looked inside and both, both discs were there. So I was thrilled. I was like, oh, awesome. Okay. And I listed it. Last night, I got a message from a potential buyer, and he said, hey, the case says volume one, but the discs say volume two. Can you double check that? And I was out at soccer practice, and I wrote him back, and I was like, as soon as I get back to my house, I will check that for you. And I went home, and I looked, and I don't know if you can see it right here. He yeah, it says correct. volume two. It says volume two. He was correct. The wrong discs are in this case so i was like shoot man he's right and i can't sell this it's not the right discs in the case so i wrote him back and i was like i am so sorry you were right it, those are volume two so i'm i just unlisted it my apologies my mistake and i unlisted the item because what am i going to do with a d volume one case and two volume two dvds well, he wrote me right back and he's like, no, wait, I'll take it. I'm looking for volume two. I don't care about the case. The case doesn't matter to me. I can't find volume two. So I wound up selling it, which is a miracle because I thought I was just going to have to trash it because I don't know. Um, so he was like really excited because he needs volume two and these are volume two. And then he also, is volume three a thing? I don't know. He also, when he purchased this, cause I of course relisted it for him. And when I, when I relisted it, he also purchased boss baby in 4k ultra HD. So he purchased two DVDs for me, which is super awesome. Again, I'll show you why I love these. Um, I have bought bubble mailers in the past that are just a little too tight and these these bubble mailers are perfect because they also fit two DVDs or like, okay, I can't do it. Like trying to show you guys I'm not doing a great job, but they also fit two DVDs or like when you've got sort of a series that's bigger, still fits, which is super awesome. The Joker next is scary. The no, Joker is scary. The next thing that sold is Batman, the long Halloween part one DVD. Now this is interesting too. I actually have two of these. And I have one Blu-ray. When I looked them up, the Blu-rays of the same movie, Long Batman, The Long Halloween Part 1, are selling for $12.99. But for some reason, the DVDs are selling for $18.99. So I listed the three of them on the same day yesterday. And this one sold on the first day for 
Oh. I'm not gonna complain about that. Not one bit. And then the last thing that sold, it was it was a lot. There was a lot going on on eBay yesterday. Is this Life Extension Bone Restore Chocolate Flavored Chewable Tablets? And you want to help me? Oh, you'll put those in. Okay. For those ones, the buyer actually, I had two of those, and the expiration date is coming up on those, so I had dropped the price pretty significantly. Thank you, Trevor. So that's in there. Yes, I know. And I shipped it off to the buyer, the first one. Well, it made it from where I am in Buffalo, New York, all the way to their state, and then just sort of got hung up in the USPS realm, wherever that might be. I'm, I'm not even sure. But it was supposed to be delivered last Saturday. Yesterday was Tuesday, the buyer reached out to me and she said, um, I'm running really short on these and do you know when they're gonna be here? So of course I went on and I did the, sorry, Trevor just bumped the camera. I went on and I did the trick that I always do where I add I, I ask for text and email alerts for the item and that typically makes it start moving again. And I did suddenly get an update from the post office when it hadn't updated in three days that said, it's running behind, but it will be delivered. So I wrote her back and I said, I've, I've basically opened a case with the post office and I will keep you posted. Let's see if it start, starts moving. I'm so sorry about the delay. Well, I did have one more. And so last night that same buyer that hasn't received their item, <laughs> ordered the other one that I have available and actually wrote back and she's like, maybe this one will get there faster. <laughs> so I'm shipping that out to her first thing this morning as well. And hopefully her original one will get there first. But so I have four, five items going out in four orders. I'm gonna go print those labels right now, run those to the post office. I have um, 50 DVDs right here that I need to start photographing and listing. And then I am also gonna deal with the DVDs that I have that are put aside right now because they're sealed, but they're off the spindle inside the DVD. I can hear them moving around. Um, I'm sort of taking everyone's advice that you guys have given me basically that I should open those. I should open those and check for damage and then notate as such that I just had to make sure that they were okay. I might use eBay's new um, video. You know, you can add videos now instead of photos. I was thinking I might actually use this for the video so I can show them me opening the DVD from sealed so that they know it is new. I'm just making sure it's not damaged. And then I'm gonna list them as open. So I do have quite a bit to do. I'm gonna stop by the greenhouses. The kids are off, so I'm trying to spend some time with them and just, you know, just, I, I what what do I need? I need a day to sit around and do nothing. What am I gonna do? I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned we'll keep going all right i'm back i i've gotten a lot done i ran to the post office i dropped off my five packages i also inquired about a package i dropped off yesterday i have a confession yesterday i was in a rush i was working and i had a break between calls and so i ran to the post office Parking lot was packed, meaning there was a line inside, and I knew I had to be back for a call. So I put all seven of my DVDs that I had sold in the mailbox that is outside the post office um, because I knew they had their pickup was in about an hour, so they wouldn't be in there long. Of course, one of those seven DVDs is still not showing a day later that it's been received by the post office. All of all the other six all show received by the post office and in their possession. And you know, Murphy's law, the one that is not showing at the post office is the only one that I've had the buyer request tracking information multiple times. They're in a big rush. It was a holiday weekend. So I'd explain that to them that they ordered it on a Saturday at 5 p.m. The post office is closed Sunday and it was closed Monday for President's Day. And now uh, their, their DVD is the only one that's not showing at the post office. So I did check on that one. He went and looked. He doesn't have it in the system. He thinks it has gone from where I'm at in Buffalo to the distribution center for USPS in Rochester. So he said, keep an eye out for it. It'll probably get scanned in in Rochester. So I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that that's true. <laughs> but that one has me a little stressed. I uh, photographed and listed six DVDs 
and I am still going to try to photograph a bunch more to get scheduled out for the rest of the week because I don't have anything scheduled right now. I'm trying to list around five to six DVDs a day, but because I seem to be selling four to five a day, I cannot seem to get myself over that like magic. I'm trying to get 400 items listed at the moment and I just can't seem to get there. I'm at 375 right now and actually 374 because I just sold a DVD. So I'm trying, I'm going to get those photographed and listed. I have some like cleaning to do around the house. I have laundry to do. It's 30 degrees out and both of my kids are wearing shorts and I'm pretty sure that's because I'm behind on the laundry. Sorry, Matthew. He's right here in shorts. I hope he's not freezing. I see his feet. <laughs> so I have stuff to do around the house and we might stop at the greenhouse later. We might go see Kevin. Um, so that's what's going on, but I am getting a lot done for my eBay store on my day off and just trying to get myself a little bit ahead because it's easy to fall behind. So yeah, productive day. Um, I feel good about it. I hope you guys are getting lots done today. That's what I have realized if you're doing, uh, eBay while working or taking care of kids or all the other things that come along with life is you've got to just carve out little bits of time to get a little bit of work done so that you can bring in that extra income for your family and yeah, it's going well. So thank you so much for watching. If you have not liked and subscribed and you would like to, that would be awesome. I would love it. Thank you to all of you that have and everyone that comments and likes and you all rock. You totally rock. So I will see you in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye guys.